good morning students i am or punnie silan department of commerce bank management uh, st joseph college of arts and science kadalur so i am going to discuss and elaborate the powers of auditors the auditors are independent person who is no way connected with the employee uh, company but as per the statutory provision he has some powers so these powers are classified into several heading uh, he has the right to access books he has the power to sign the audit report he has the power to attend the general meeting he must be intermunified by the remuneration his consent must be attained before uh, publishing prospectus he has been uh, uh, right to, to visit branches and he has power to receive any legal and technical advices and he has the power to retain uh, to exercise the lien that means uh, retaining the properties of the companies so we discuss each point in elaborate way the first one is a right to access here the auditor has the power to uh, access all the books which was which were kept in the head office or elsewhere it is outside of the company he has the power to access all the books the books include not only the accounts related books all the statutory documents he cannot um, exercise he cannot exercise this right all the times he must inform the director before hang, before coming to access the books but in case of a doubt or in case there there may be a, some wrong or fraud is going on he may pay a surprise receipt at this at this uh, time he cannot inform the uh, he, he is not uh, um, bound to inform the directors for accessing and then he uh, he has the power to see that whether the transactions are uh, properly entered the evidence are properly attached and uh, the sale of assets uh, and the securities suppose if it is uh, incur loss he can enquire and he can so see that whether the loan and uh, um, um, advances shown maybe as a deposit as a deposit any personal expenses charged to revenue account so yeah, all this may be uh, um, accessed can be found out by the accessing the books of uh, books the second right power is he has the power to sign the audit report so whatever uh, the agreement the stats uh, statutory power is given to the auditor to sign the report uh, relating to the accounts uh, and he has the power to sign any other document or he has the power to certify certify the some documents uh, so it uh, which cannot be curtailed by the agreement which cannot be stopped by any directors he has the power then he has the power to attend the general meeting that means the annual general meeting he has the power to attend sometimes he may appoint a, a legal person uh, representation for uh, representing his voice so it is also applicable Uh, before uh, calling him for to to attend the uh, meeting uh, 21 days earlier notice must be given 21 days so he has the power to provide uh, uh, any take part in the discussion and he may may not be uh, disclose the facts um, which are connected with accounts it is left to his choice then he has the power to claim remuneration so auditor is appointed as per the agreement so as per the agreement the remuneration must be given 
so if uh, the company is delaying denying or delaying uh, to pay the remuneration he has the power to claim it through the legal forum and he has the power to uh, retain any uh, assets or any books any books till the payment of remuneration that is a right of lien and uh, whatever it is uh, the, whether it is uh, prospectus whether it is uh, any advertisement relating to the uh, viability of the project or new startup whatever it is uh, when the auditors auditor name is mentioned in the prospectus so the consent from the auditor is uh, getting consent from the auditor is very very important he cannot simply uh, mention his name so you must get a written consent written consent that's uh, another uh, nature so uh, sometimes he need a uh, legal advice legal advice in order to uh, prosecute any um, uh, prosecute any fraud or any mis uh, uh, carriage in the misconduct in the companies he may be contact the legal people people and also in order to value the uh, any assets and the liabilities he may be called uh, any uh, technical person to get his advice he has the power so nobody stop him from receiving any advices from the other parties and he has the power to power to get back whatever the expenditure he spent relating to the auditing of a company's accounts so and another also he has the power to visit any branches any branches with int uh, without intimation or with the intimation uh, to the concerned branch manager so all these are given by uh, the companies act companies act and also uh, that is uh, provided by company law board so i hope that you understand the powers of auditor thank you we will see in the next class